Live from Digital GSGA 099-2539 in Kukumim Lokrao on DSTV channel 421 and GoTV channel 144 on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram or Joy News on TV. This is Joy News Interactive and I am Pito CBD. All right, so this is at real Donald Trump who says all is well. Missiles launched from Iran at uh, two military bases located in Iraq. Assessment of casualties and damages taking place now. So far, so good. We have the most powerful and well-equipped military anywhere in the world by far. I will be making a statement tomorrow morning. Well, tensions between the United States and Iran, social media users have been reacting to this in their own way. One hashtag that has generated a lot of attention is World War Three. I'll bring you those tweets, but trending at number one at the time of production is Iran versus US. Let's get you some of those tweets. This one is from at Sharifo who says, rich man's war, poor man's blood. Pray for humanity. Hashtag Iran versus USA. Before USA, after USA, those are some comparisons uh, of what happens when the USA uh, comes to a country. Alpha Alpha Kazmi says, pray for humanity, pray for the planet, hashtag Iran versus USA 2020, it's all real. And he's asking, hashtag Iran versus USA. At Idea says, because of the rich man's war, there's a lot of poor man's blood. Iran versus USA. And insane buddy underscore AJ says, hashtag Iran versus USA, Iran attacks. Hashtag World War Three. Understand that those two politi politicians have nothing to lose in this battle. Only innocent people will pay for this. At cool underscore Abdullah says war is not a mean material, war is not fun, war is havoc, war is comedy, war is thirst of blood, hashtag Iran, Iran versus USA. At the Thai soul, Tyler Soul says hashtag Iran versus USA, the war is not just fought by soldiers, that war is also fought by his family friends who wait for him at home, war is not an option. All right, the last tweets I'm taking are from the hashtag Iran versus USA, uh, depressing truth, and they say people killing, people dying, children hurting. I hear them crying, the ugly truth of war. Can't we all just get along? Now, World War Three is a terrifying prospect at any time, but as Iran threatens revenge after the U.S. Uh, killed the top Iran, Iranian uh, General Qasim Soleimani and fears of war escalate, the likelihood seems greater than ever. Hashtag World War Three has been trending and this is what you have, you have been saying. So this one is from at it's um, Satish who says World War Three started, hashtag World War Three. And that's a picture of, uh, you know, Black Panther, we have the Hulk, Avengers. So that's a Avengers picture. At underscore Dion says, war is not a joke, war is not funny, war destroys the future, think about the children, where is the love, hashtag pray for peace, think about humanity, hashtag world war three, hashtag Iran versus USA. Uh, 
at Jonas Palm says, this is the saddest thing I came across. This is not funny. People are dying. People died in Iran. American soldiers died and many more to lose their lives. I am beginning to hate this world. Earth used to be so beautiful. This one says, Sadia Iqbal says, war is not a joke, it's destruction. Iran attacked U.S. military bases in Iraq. It has been confirmed that Iran's air force has taken off from its bases. This risks becoming a full-scale war between the U.S. and Iran. Say no to war. Kwame underscore H says, pray for humanity and say no to World War Three. Life is precious. Hashtag Iran versus the USA. And this is the last tweet I'm taking from at K Poison One who says, Can't America just hand over Trump to the Iranians to end all this drama? Hashtag World War Three. It's not like they like their president and it's even a few months to the election, so it won't hurt much. Now, let's come back home and talk about Hamatan because one major cause of fire breaks in times like this is the Hamatan, which is now here with us again, the prevailing dust haze that has completely covered the country's air space in the past couple of days. My colleague Gifty Andopia has been interacting and here are some fire tips for you. Now that Skype looks perfect. Let's start the conversation. I'm curious to find out um, wh wh what really makes Hamatan season. I mean, what does the Hamatan season mean for officials of the Ghana National Fire Service? Does it mean that you have to be extra alert? What happens in this season for you? Yes, around this season, uh, the weather is very dry. And so a lot of items that when they come in contact with fire, the bend also becomes dry. Mm. So it is very important so that we become very, very cautious in the way we handle fires around this period of time. Mm. In the history of the Ghana National Fire Service, I mean, what can you say as far as the history, what you have recorded in Amatan seasons uh, are like? Yeah, we do record a lot of fire abuse around this time okay. because the least thing you, you forget yourself or carelessness in one way or the other, it brings mm -hmm. about a fire outbreak. Okay. Yes. And you, have you got any statistics to share with us as far as the uh, history? I don't have what specific the ones. But then okay. from um, 24th December mm -hmm. up to now, up to date, mm -hmm. we, ha we, are, we have recorded 200 and 243 fires. 243? Yes. This is from when again? 24th December. December. So up that's to, like up to date. less than a month. Yes, less than a month, you recorded 243 fires. Yes, so this tells us that we must be very cautious in the way we handle fire. Okay, so well, how can we get cautious? Did you want to add something? Yes, um, well, fire safety consciousness is a shared responsibility. It is not only the fire service who needs to do the education. You also need to play your part by also adhering to what the fire service tells you to do. So, for instance, if you are in your house, mm. you should ensure that in your kitchen there are certain safety measures that you're putting in place to ensure that you are safe in the kitchen. Okay, just a second. Before we get into the tips, let me bring Nanaya, Nanaya in. Nanaya, from your own observations and from your research, if you have done any, uh, to what extent is Hamatan a season to watch as far as fire is concerned? Do you have any statistics to share as well? Well, good afternoon to you, our viewers. Unfortunately, um, we are not done with uh, tabulation and interpretation of the data that we collected over the year. Um, I'm unable to immediately recall the situation uh, as it was last year. But I believe that in a few weeks, I will be able to share uh, some of the hard data with the Ghanaian public and people. Um, that said, there is no doubt that Hamatan season is a time where especially farms and forest areas come under heavy um, fires. Um, I believe that as the discussion progresses, we'll be able to put in a word. 
Dozens of men's go customers say they are marching to the residence of the defunct company CEO, Nana Pia Mensa. Uh, Komla Doma joins us with uh, live updates. Premises. And then the others who are here are ensuring that the customers have been picked up. A short time ago, I spoke to one of the leadership or the customers, Mr. Francis Ousu. He appears to have been picked up as well. He is sitting in the bucket of that pickup there. Um, at the moment, we do not have a word from police about why the people are being picked up, but they are being driven out of the premises right now. Uh, also, one of the women I spoke to, Madam Magi, Obapa Magi, who says she traveled out of the country to do some work and brought back a lot of money and invested in a company. She's also been picked up. She's also in the bucket of one of the police vehicles right now. So that is the situation here at the Trazako residence of... Um, Nana Apia Mensa, the chief executive officer of Men's Gold. So about 20 people or more that have been arrested. Is that one Sunday? I have to find a way of speaking to Christy for you. Where is he? I should think so, because I told them I can't talk now. If they can't see and pick, they should be there. On that note, we're going to take a quick breather. We'll be back with more.